Hey there students, um, on this clip we're going to be going over how to find one-sided limits of rational functions. We're going to be employing the algebraic method here. You know that the same process can be done um, graphically too, and also numerically. Uh, I'll go over those methods and some other in the upcoming videos. Uh, so let's focus on the algebraic um, approach on, on, this, on this video, okay? Alright, so we want to find the following limits. Find the following limits. Following limits algebraically. algebraically. Alright, um, before we start, here, some things I want you to note um, concerning this. First of all, I want you to know that whenever you have 1 divided by 0 plus, this means that you're dividing 1 by an extremely small positive number. If you divide 1 by a really, really small number, this whole uh, ratio right here is going to be approaching infinity. Okay? So let's, let's, let's take a look at an example real quick. Let's say um, you did uh, 1 divided by uh, 0.1. You get 10, right? 1 Let's make the denominator smaller, 0 0.001. You get 1,000. You see how as the denominator gets smaller, the, the ratio is getting bigger. So as it gets infinitely smaller, the whole ratio approaches infinity, right? So remember, 1 over 0 plus basically means a small positive and the whole thing goes to infinity. And if you have 1 over 0 negative, this means a small negative number. 1 over a small negative number. Okay, small negative number. In this case, this number is going to approach negative infinity because the sign basically carries with the whole thing, alright? Uh, so let's say, for example, we had 1 over uh, negative 0 0.000001 and that's basically going to be 1 times negative, um, let's move this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, it's going to be 1 times, um, uh, uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over 1, you reciprocate it, and then basically you're going to have a, a big, a big negative number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So the, the sign does matter, if you have 0 negative, it's going to be negative infinity, and then if you have 0 positive, it's going to be infinity, so keep track of this, okay? So these are the two ideas I'm going to be using um, to do the examples that we're going to look at, alright? So let's uh, take a look at example number 1. Uh, what if we had limit, uh, limit as x approaches 3 from the right of 1 over x minus 3. Okay? So this one I'm just going to substitute it directly. Since it's a one-sided limit, I'm going to have 1 divided by 3 from the right minus 3. Alright, so 3 from the right minus 3 is going to simply become 1 over, you subtract the numbers 3 minus 3, 0, keep the directionality which is positive. Okay? So 1 over 0 from the right is basically 1 over a really small positive number. So what is one of a really small positive number? This whole thing is basically infinity. Alright? So the answer to this problem is infinity. Alright, let's try another example, number two. What if we had uh, the limit as x approaches 3 from the negative side or from the left side of 1 over x minus 3? Same problem but from a left wrong different direction. So you're going to have 1 over 3 from the left side, minus 3, which basically gives you 1 over 0 from the left. 1 over 0 from the left is basically 1 over a really small negative number, okay? And that's going to go to negative infinity, and that goes to the answer, alright? So there you have it. So since 3 from the right is infinity and 3 from the left is negative infinity, that basically tells you that the double-sided limit does not exist since these two limits are different. Alright, let's move on to number three. Uh, let's find uh, the limit 
that's x, my approach is negative 4 on the left side of 1 over x plus 4. Okay? Same whole idea here. I'm just going to make a substitution, preserve the rationality, and then use this whole idea of dividing by small uh, numbers to find what the limit is. So this is going to become 1 over substitute negative 4 from the right for x here. So you're going to have negative 4 from the, I'm sorry, from the left plus 4 which is basically 1 over minus 4 plus 4 is 0, 0 from the left. 0 from the left is basically 1 over a really small negative number, uh, which basically takes us to negative infinity. All right? So there you have it. OK, let's try another problem slightly more complicated. Let's take a look at number 4. Whatever we have the limit, uh, as x approaches 0 from the right of the int of x over x. Okay? So this one is basically going to become the int of 0 from the right over 0 from the right. So what's int of 0 from the right? Int is the floor function, right? Which basically rounds it down to the biggest integer that's smaller than the given number. Um, so 0 from the right, an example is 0 0.0001, right? If I take the int of this, it's simply going to round, round it down to the next, the biggest integer that's smaller than this, which is 0. Okay, so the int of 0 to the right is the biggest integer that's smaller than a really, really small number to the right of 0. Okay, so that's basically going to round it down to 0. So you're going to have 0 over a 0 plus 0 from the right. Okay? Now, um, if you have 0, nothing over a really, really small number, is this number keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. When reciprocated, it goes to the top. But you're multiplying it by 0. So guess what? The whole thing is just goes straight to 0. Okay? So let me demonstrate that to you with a calculator real quick, the whole idea. Um, if you had 0 divided by 0 0.1, 0, <laughs> 0 divided by 0 0.001, 0, no matter how big the denominator gets, when you reciprocate it and comes to the top, 0 is just going to kill it up to 0. So that's basically why this limit um, is basically 0. Okay? Um, Alright, so... Let's try another example. Let's take a look at number 5. Number 5, we have, we want to find the limit um, as x approaches 0 from the right of 1 over sine x. So what's this going to be? Um, let's see. Just plug in 0 from the right into this whole equation. So basically you're going to have 1 over sine of 0 from the right. So what is sine of 0 from the right? What is the sine of a really, really, really small number approaching 0 from the right? Um, sine of a really, really small number is going to give you a number that's getting really, really close, close to 0. So this is basically going to be 1 over... 0 from the right also is going to give you a really small number because we know how sine the sine function behaves when you're approaching 0, right? So as the x value approaches 0, the y value also gets closer and closer to 0 as the number itself gets closer and closer to 0, okay? So you have 1 over 0 to the right, which is going to basically explode to infinity, okay? So there you have it. So thanks for paying attention to these uh, clips. Uh, be sure to subscribe and um, to see more videos on, on limits.